Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel, Kriska Yoga. Today I will be sharing a yoga class for indigestion. We did just celebrate Thanksgiving here in the US. If you're not in the US, then perhaps you've been going to some holiday parties, or you will be shortly, and you might be suffering from some kind of indigestion, from eating things that we normally don't eat, heavy things maybe, uh, an abundance of food maybe. There are many reasons why we might be suffering from indigestion, so hopefully this yoga class will help you to feel a little bit better. As I always say, yoga is not the cure all to all types of ailments, but moving your body might just help you to feel a little bit more space in that area, help to move things around maybe. It'll help you hopefully to feel a little bit better. So I hope you enjoy it. Before we get started, if you aren't subscribed yet to this YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it down below the video. It's free to subscribe. I'd love to have you as a part of this community. I would also love to have you as a part of my community over on Facebook. I am now, in addition to these weekly yoga YouTube classes, I am posting weekly yoga classes on Facebook as well. So you'll want to head over to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash kriskayoga, and follow and like that page as well so you can catch all of my videos, my yoga classes over there as well. Link in the description. So if you're ready, grab your yoga mat and let's get started. We'll begin by sitting on the ground in easy pose. Cross your shins. Flex your feet under your knees. Bring your hands to your legs. Sit up tall. Close your eyes. Come to focusing on the breath for a moment. Breathing deeply in and out through your nose. here slowly come to open your eyes inhale reach your arms all the way up looking up palms facing each other exhale twist the upper body to the right bring your left hand to your right knee your right arm behind you with an inhale lengthen the spine exhale twist around to the right looking as far behind you as you can keep even with both of your sits bones at the bottom of the pelvis on the ground with each inhale that you take in your twist lengthen the spine and with each exhale, twist a little bit deeper than before. Remain here. Inhale, reach your arms up, looking up once again. Exhale, twist in the opposite direction. Right hand to your left knee, left arm behind you. Inhale, lengthen your spine up. Exhale, twist to the left. Looking behind you as much as possible. Remain even with your hips on the ground. Twisting deeper with each exhale. Sitting taller with each inhale. And stay here in your twist. Slowly unwind from the twist, coming back to the center, and we'll come down to a child's pose. Coming through hands and knees first to touch your big toes together and separate your knees apart. Set your hips onto your heels, relax your torso over the thighs, bring your forehead to the ground, and stretch your arms out in front of you. 
breathing here for a moment. With each exhale, pressing the hips down further towards the heels in that direction. Feeling the whole back draping over the thighs, stretching all the muscles in your back here. Gently lift your head up. We'll take a twist, threading the left arm underneath the right. Keep the rest of your body stable in child's pose. Bring the left side of your temple to the ground and twist. Come out of your twist and twist in the opposite direction, threading the right arm underneath the left, the right side of your head to the ground. And slowly unwind from your twist. Reach your arms out in front of you. Come up through hands and knees, bringing your shins back to parallel and hips distance apart. Tucking the toes. Straighten the legs, pressing into the ground with your hands and feet in downward facing dog. Since this is your first downward dog, pedal the legs. Move around, twist if you'd like, keeping the legs and feet and hands where they are, just gently adding some slight motion into your down dog. And slowly come to stillness in your downward facing dog, pressing your hips down towards the ground. If you need to bend your knees slightly, that's totally fine to protect your hamstrings. Lifting your hips up and back, pressing in to the ground with both of your hands. On your next inhale, take your right leg and step it forward. Bring the right knee directly above the right ankle and drop the left knee down onto the floor, untucking the left toe. From here, hold and breathe for a moment in your low lunge, lunging forward into the right leg, feeling a stretch in the front of your left leg and hip, and hold here. From here, we'll take a twist, bring the left hand right underneath your nose, twisting the upper body towards the right leg, reach the right arm up towards the ceiling, looking up here, continue to lunge forward into the right leg and hold your twist. Bring the hand back down, and we'll come straight into the other side by coming through downward facing dog. Tuck the left toe, press the hands into the ground, and step the right leg back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out through the nose. And from here on your next inhale, set the left leg forward. 
bring the knee directly above the ankle, drop the right knee down onto the floor, and untuck your right toe. From here, we're going to hold low lunge. Once again, lunging forward into the left leg, feeling a stretch in the front of your right leg here, softening the left hip socket. Looking down, lengthen the spine as much as you can, and hold. From here, bring the right hand underneath the nose and twist the upper body to the left. Raising the left arm up, looking up towards the ceiling, continue to lunge forward into your left leg and hold your twist. Bring the left hand down to the ground, press into the ground with both of your hands. Tuck your right toe, step the left leg back, downward facing dog. Hold your downward dog for a deep breath in and out. From here, we'll take our high lunge, stepping the right leg forward. Bring the knee directly above the ankle, press into the ground with the ball of your left foot and your right foot to raise your torso up for high lunge. Lunge forward into the right leg. The back leg is straight and energized. The heel of the left foot is raised. From here, we'll take a twist. Bring your hands to meet at the center of your body. Twist your upper body towards the right. Bring your left elbow to your right thigh and use your arms on your leg to help you twist. Keeping the back leg straight, continue to lunge forward into your right leg, looking up and hold. From here, engage your abdominals to come out of your twist, raising your arms back up through high lunge. Hands down, step the right leg back, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Step the left leg forward for high lunge on the left. Lunging forward into the left leg, the knee is stacking above the ankle. Press into the ground with your feet, lift your torso up. Raise your arms up, lunge forward into the left leg. The back leg is straight, right heel is raised. From here, bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Twist your upper body to the left. Bring your right elbow to your left thigh. Use your arms on your leg to help your upper body twist. This is a balancing pose, so if you fall out of it, that's totally normal, just come right back. And once you're settled here, hold your twist and breathe. Engage your abdominals, come out of your twist, raising your arms back up. Set the hands down, step back, downward dog. Press the heels down towards the floor, lift the hips up and back, breathing deeply here. And from here, set the knees down onto the floor, touch the big toes together behind you. The knees are apart, sitting the hips onto the heels. We'll rest in a child's pose. Once you're settled here with your forehead on the ground, torso over the thighs, arms stretching out in front of you, quiet the mind for a moment, relax, and remain here.
slowly make your way up out of your child's pose. And from here, come to a seated position. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Bend your right leg. Bring the bottom of your right foot to the ground, knee pointed up. From here, raise your left arm up. And then bring your left elbow to your right knee. Bring your right arm behind you. Keep that left leg straight and the left foot flexed. Use your arm on your leg to help you lengthen the spine with an inhale. And on an exhale, we'll come to another twist. Looking as far behind you as you can, lengthening the spine further with your inhales, deepening the twist a bit with your exhales. Slowly unwind from your twist, straighten your right leg. We'll repeat that on the other side. Bend your left leg, knee up, foot is on the floor. Raise your right arm up, lengthen the spine, bring your right elbow to your left knee. Left arm behind you on the ground. Use your arms to help you lengthen the spine with an inhale. Exhale, twist your upper body around to the left. Looking behind you as much as possible, continue to lengthen the spine. Each time you inhale, deepen the twist just a bit each time you exhale. slowly unwind from your twist and we'll come to lying flat on the back. From here bring your knees together at the center line of your body. Walk your feet out to the edges of your yoga mat. Your knees are resting on each other in the center and then from here we're going to rest in constructive rest. That's what this pose is called by placing our hands on the lower abdominals. Close your eyes once you're settled. Breathe deeply through the nose. Bring all of the attention inward by focusing on the breath. You can send your breath to where you might be feeling discomfort, perhaps in your abdomen. Allowing yourself to relax deeper with each exhale that you take and remain here.
bring some slight gentle motion back into your body gently moving your limbs bring your feet in towards each other once you're settled roll to the right side resting there with your arm onto your head for support and use your hands to help you press up to a seated position cross your shins flex your feet under your knees sit up tall Bring your hands to your legs, close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in and out through your nose. And bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this class. If you liked it, hit the like button, the thumbs up down below the video. It would really help the channel to grow, help to let YouTube know that you liked it and want them to share it with more people. And I would really appreciate that. Also, leave me a comment letting me know what did you do for Thanksgiving if you celebrated? What are your holiday plans coming up? Big holiday parties coming up? I always love to hear from you guys. I always love to connect with you in the comments. So leave me a comment down below as well. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already for free weekly yoga classes. Also head over to Facebook and follow my Facebook page as well for more free weekly yoga classes. For even more yoga resources, check out my website, kriskayoga.com and follow me over on Instagram at kriskayoga. All of the links to everything that I mentioned and more are listed in the description box below. Thank you so much. See you next time.